for us to remain calm. The President has mobilized the 101st Airborne Division. FEMA has sent all available search and rescue units to St. Louis to assist local crisis units. The scope of the devastation is still not completely known. Wildfires are the worst. We think they're still going to have water shortages. given time, casualties are difficult, if not impossible, to assess, and it may be dangerous. As you can see, Peter, we're still experiencing isolated structural explosions and fires. The fire department has instructed those people in the hotspot areas to relocate to the Red Cross Center. Those centers are up, and it may be Well, it seems as though we've lost our remote signal from the center of the main destruction. We apologize for that, but assure you that we will consume our coverage as possible. Most of the country hasn't seen that much. We've begun collecting essential personnel from our lists, but we sure have a ways to go. A panic exodus of the general population before we reach target numbers would be a disaster. The meteor hit is a good cover for now. But we've got to keep Shepard's theories of a supernova out of the mix any way we can. Because we cannot tolerate any delays in its editing process. I think we can all agree on that. These are difficult times, people. None of us wanted this to happen. But this is what we were trained for. Our job is to face the arithmetic, as Abraham Lincoln said. If we can do this without sentimentality, without nostalgia, mankind has a chance for a future. If we can't, mankind can only have a past. Delgado, I'm concerned about keeping Dr. Richardson in the residence pods. Why is that, sir? He panicked. He'll either settle down or he won't. I'd feel better if you transport him to the containment compound. For his own safety. Sir. I was wondering if you'd heard anything, sir. I'm sorry. The retrieval team we sent made it very clear to your family that it would be safer for them to join you here. I understand, sir. Some people just aren't convinced of the severity of this situation. Or they'd rather take their chances where they are. If I could just speak with them... We can't force them to come in, Lisa. We forced Dr. Richardson, sir. He's an essential. You're an essential.
Angels are available for key leaders in the technical pool. Rebreather analysis schedules are available for key leaders in the technical pool. The prison has been secured. The Joint Chiefs are with him. The cabinet has been rounded up and a good number of senators and representatives are with marshals or state police at temporary shelters. So, what do we know? St. Louis has been devastated. It seems the atmosphere provided us with some protection, but the impact and the resulting fires have laid waste to the entire metropolitan area. Houston, Grand Rapids, and several million acres of national park lands out west are up in flames. There are fires on the outskirts of Los Angeles and San Diego. Evacuation is impossible because the fire almost surrounds the metro areas. Any way to tell if we have more like that headed our way? DOD, NATO, and CETO information, fiber optic, intranet network is still functioning. We do have limited communications abilities to tap into observation resources worldwide. It is our best and only hope to try to catch new events as they form. What we need is someone who knows something about what the hell is going on. Find someone now. Yes, sir. I can only speculate. But it is becoming clear to me that there are efforts underway to try to minimize the significance of the phenomena that the world has experienced over the past several days. But these incidents, the airline crashes, the electrical storms, the blackouts, were all accurately anticipated in Dr. Shepard's research, which I obtained from his observatory just after he disappeared. The beginnings of, of what you call a supernova? Yes. Which means? It means that the sun is going to expand and will eventually consume our entire solar system. I'm Laurie Stevenson of Channel 7 News. And for the record, my reports on Dr. Shepard's work and his current disappearance have not been allowed to air. So I've made the decision to defy my superiors and to get this information out the only way I know how. To all of you who see this, I can only promise to continue reporting what I learn until such time as I'm prevented from doing so. You know, I think you guys have me in the wrong room. There's no telephone, I got no mini bar. What is up with that? Stand up. Oh, come on. Hands. Colonel Williams is right about you. Yeah. He's a great judge of character. He should definitely be the one getting to choose who lives and who dies. Let's go. Where are we going? The Colonel believes you'd be more comfortable at another location.
What did I miss? Coronal mass ejections breached the atmosphere. St. Louis? No one knows how bad, but it's bad. So, Delgado, how's the family? Rest. My mother and sister live in St. Louis. It's okay. He's just calling to let you know. Haley! Haley! I'm sorry, Mom. I knocked over my glass. I got scared. Are you okay? Did you cut yourself? No. No. I'll clean it up. It's still working. I was seeing maybe if Daddy had emailed or, or something. Thank you, but I'm thinking. Easy pickings, this will be. but I'm not sure I'll get through. Don't worry about me, madam. I'll be fine. But I will worry, Teresa. As soon as you make the arrangements, you lock up the house and you leave. And when this is over, I'll come find you. I know you will, madam. Listen to your mother. Bye, Teresa. I promise I'll see you again soon. Let's go. My people's kids downloaded it this afternoon, emailed it to his mother. Must be everywhere by now. I recognize her. We knocked heads a few times in Bosnia or Amanpour, somewhere down the line. I had someone check the station. She hasn't been seen for a couple of days. We got teams on the ground. We'll find her. Listen, at the moment, I got more pressing problems. Sir, we still need to discuss the situation here. Tell me. She's coming to one of the vehicles. Left the facility about two hours ago. Richardson is definitely with her. She had papers with your signature. Clever girl. I'm sorry. Look, Richardson, we've got another hour, maybe two, before Williams finds out and sends his dogs. Now, if I were you, I'd be trying to figure out what to do with my newfound freedom. Get to my wife little girl. 
If we're lucky, I can get you into the city in a couple of days. Then what? Then? You're on your own. You can't make it to St. Louis, Delgado. It's halfway around the world. Watch me. There's a notebook in the duffel. You should take a look at it. These are Chenislav's notes. Just tell me I have enough time to find my mother and my sister. Anything in this world I could be so afraid of. Cole won't find you, Brooke. Not here. I just wish I could get a hold of Chris. Problem in the fuel line. She's jerking like a mare in heat. Can't do much until tomorrow. But my wife's got a little motel out back. Reasonable, right? Thanks. Uh, mind keeping her inside, though? The uh, sun's a killer on her finish. She won't see the light of day till you're back. <sighs> what now? Another ride. Is that for me? And to 
us. Cheers. Cheers. Did you leave anyone? Behind them. I was married. <laughs> Great guy, actually. So, no, I don't think so. Life is full of surprises, isn't it? How ironic, if I hadn't spent my whole life looking at the stars, I might miss the most beautiful thing on earth I've ever seen. Why is it that we find the best things? So little time to enjoy. I wonder if anybody knows. Might be better if it's fast. I'm not sure how civilization can handle the inevitability of its own end. I wish Shepard wasn't so friggin' smart. Or I wasn't so stupid. There has to be an anomaly. I just can't see it. Maybe it isn't there. Uh, Shannon's love, I'm sure it was. Something about Shepard's assumptions bothered him. Assumptions? The premise is wrong. Everything after the premise is wrong. Chenislav had a feeling. I got a feeling. What? We're in trouble. This gas gauge read full nearly two hours ago. How far have we come? Far enough to be out of gas pretty soon. Do you think anybody's seen it yet? We posted it on every network we could access. <sighs> There's your answer. We have to get more information. Get back online. Keep people informed. We're going to SPL. Can't be serious. It's the most important solar research lab in the world. If there's any place we can find out what's really going on, it's there. Okay, try it again. <sighs> Forget it. Forget it. She's dry. Give me the keys. Grab the duffel. Looking for things to salvage. You never know.
caught it about three hours ago. Plasma flares that have an intensity and velocity that far exceed anything ever recorded. Is it gonna hit us? Not it, they. Our simulations predict that the mass will disperse on its way here. It'll hit us like a scattergun loaded with nuclear birdshot. When? Traveling at over a million miles an hour, the sun is 93 million away. You do the maths. Damage assessment. St. Louis times a thousand. Colonel, I think it's time for us to make the evacuation. Williams? I'm afraid that's not going to be possible, Malcolm. What? I'm afraid we're spread too thin. Our priorities have definitely changed. We had an agreement, Colonel. I'm sorry. six seconds. Luxury. And kick ass. They've all got their keys in them and a full tank of gas. I'll take your pick. I just want to get the hell out of here. They get old real fast. You religious? Not really. Are you? I went to Sunday school when I was young. And the moon became his blood. And the fifth angel sounded. The stars of heaven fell onto the earth. Figs from a fig tree, shaken by the wind. Revelations. I thought you said you weren't religious. Our sun is going out, taking our solar system and everything living with it. The end of the world. What does it all mean? It's just a process. Nuclear electromagnetic phenomena. A process? In the grand scheme of things, we're pretty insignificant. That's the way you really feel about your wife, your daughter. Insignificant. been tracking this thing all along. He knew about Dr. Shepard's theories before any of us. And he's been passing the information on to some guy named Harlan Williams? Harlan Williams? That's right. Do you know him? He was in Bosnia. He's in Ayo. Oh, so that's how they got on this. Well, Ginny, I seem to have underestimated you. You, on the other hand, I had picked. Okay, wait a minute. You're gonna question her ethics after what you've been doing? And uh, what exactly do you think I have been doing? Selling us out. You've been feeding Dr. Shepard's information to national intelligence for months. For years. How do you think we've been able to afford all the 
the research that brilliant people like you want to do here. Oh, I suppose they never taught you the principle of uh, quid pro quo up at Stanford. Hmm? every site we can access on every SPL network. Back up every piece of data we can to the servers down here. And if there's any possibility that someone, someday, survives this cataclysm, I want them to find what we did here. I want them to know. are warning that continued civil disobedience will, if necessary, be met with deadly force. Initial reports have stated that the source of the fire that rained down on St. Louis was indeed the sun. When asked to confirm these reports, spokespersons for the European Space Agency and the White House said that the report was erroneous and misleading. Officials from FEMA were also tight-lipped, but the White House promised an official statement would be made shortly. Demonstrations about the lack of action by government agencies has gripped most major cities, with Seoul, South Korea having the most serious clashes between civilians and the military. We look at the... I wish we'd had more time. There's so much more I want to know.
supernova is almost academic. The fires and the smoke pose a much more immediate danger, and if conditions don't improve, we're in for a very bad time indeed. Are you saying we won't survive another fireball event? We may survive the fireballs, not the fires. Remember the oil fires after Desert Storm? Remember the Indonesian forest fires? Well, after a few days, most of our sunlight won't be able to reach ground level. The nuclear winter. After a few weeks, we may see temperatures stabilize at 15 to 20 degrees below zero, and that's worldwide. They'll stay down there for months, maybe even years. Yes, basically, we're looking at a mass extinction event. We'll be joining the dinosaurs before the supernova ever happens. This sort of event occurs once in a star's life. There's no stopping it. The only thing strong enough to save us is the Earth herself. Towers are down either way, it's not good. That's not saying the worst. What'd you say? Let's not assume the worst. Assumptions can be wrong. Austin's predictions were based on a study that I did surrounding the gravitational field of asteroid 460 as it neared the sun. My numbers right here. Genislav was convinced that my assumption was wrong. That is why he highlighted it. If my number is wrong, everything that comes after it is also wrong. I have to get the SPL. Christopher. This country is counting on us to be on the ball, people. Now, I know this all seems insurmountable. But until we are wiped out, we are going to have to try to continue to maintain some sort of order. The people in the field, those people out there, need us to organize things. And they need to know that there is order at the top, or they will fall apart. And if that happens, all may be lost. Now let's get back at it, okay? Captain? That order I gave earlier applies to people trying to leave as well. No one gets in, no one gets out. These people have families out there. We all have families out there, Captain. We falter and everyone will suffer. Are we clear? Absolutely. Good. That's to the west of the city. Oh my god. That's right where Marcia's hospital is. I can't stay here. Not now. Ginny, we don't know what's going on out there. She mightn't get within miles of the area. It could be dangerous. I really hope I see you again. Somehow. You did good, Ginny. We both did. Now it's your time. Good luck.
looky looky. Beauty, huh? Hey, Cal. Look, uh, we, we need to talk. Cal? Hello? You gotta do what you gotta do. But I gotta have some fun before I get called back home. My name's Jenny. What's yours? Cassidy. Cassidy. No, I'm scared too, but everything's gonna be just fine. Set. It's gonna link up to any new site or blog or website still in existence. You wanna do the honors? All you have to do is hit send right there. Maybe we shouldn't. What good will it do? It'll let people know the truth. Will that help them? It's... It's not... And to help save them, that's what you mean. Then what's the point? Hmm? I've spent my entire career believing that people have the right to know. No matter how painful, the truth has to come out. And I'd do anything to get it. Anything. I've lost friends, lovers. Nothing else mattered to me as much as finding out what really happened? Who really did it? What was behind it all? And letting as many people as I could know about it. But now... 
I've come face to face with a different kind of truth. What good does it do to know? What can anyone do about it? It's a truth that doesn't really matter anymore. All it can do is make matters worse. Maybe not. Step away, Malcolm. You too, Dave. Sing. I know who you work for, remember? Same employee you do, as I recall. Except I quit. Good for you. I just got fired. What are you looking for, Chris? The truth. One that might matter a lot. fighting a losing battle. Every policeman, fireman, marshal, deputy agent we have isn't enough. Riots are spiraling out of control. Pull all units back to command centers. Order the commanders to expend their resources to protect food distribution centers, public utilities, and armories. Let them have the liquor stores, supermarkets, malls, and the like. If we live through this, we'll need food, water, defense stockpiles, and power to settle things. time we are struggling to remain on the air we aren't even sure if anyone is seeing these broadcasts but the staff has vowed to stay on the air for as long as we can with only scattered reports still coming in we can say with certainty the scope of the destruction has been massive fire and rescue crews have been working tirelessly with the help of the military worldwide to not only deal with the destruction but they have been desperately trying to maintain order to little effect Casualty reports have topped well over several million, and those estimates are hours old. Shepard isn't wrong, Christopher. There's no way he's wrong. We shredded his figures till there was nothing left. Yeah, well, you didn't shred mine. Keep going.
fantastic. This is a plus sign right here. It shouldn't be a plus. Wait, plus X over two times rho. Uh, Tell me this is good. That's PE equals H to the second over 20 times EMME over EMH times three over pi times EMH to the power of two thirds times one plus X over two times rho minus X over two times rho. Minus X, not plus X. Plus sign. Stupid little plus sign. Where a minus should have been. That's good, right? Tell me that's good. Oh yeah. It's good. I have never been this happy to be right about being wrong. Austin's whole theory was based on research he asked me to do. But my projections were off. Fractionally. I put a plus sign where a minus sign should have been. Austin was working from a failed premise. I mean, if my conclusions were wrong, so were his. This all boils down to a plus sign. <laughs> so what happens now? Now, you have a truth that's worth reporting. And I have a wife and a daughter that I have to get back to. So I guess this is where we part company. I'll go with you. Come this far. I'd like to make sure at least one of us gets home. Okay, just stay right here and I'll be back. No, I don't believe me. It's really looking forward to meeting your wife and kid. Don't talk like that. You're gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna get you in the truck. We're gonna get up out of here, okay? Let's go. Come on. You're a good man, Christopher.
scientists at SPL are now convinced there was a fatal error in the original equations that Dr. Shepard used to complete his analysis of the age of the sun. According to Dr. Malcolm Handy of SPL, who's here with me now, this means that earlier predictions of a supernova event over the next weeks or month have been based on inconsistent data. According to our latest analysis, the recent devastating solar activity the base over the next few days. But we are not out of the woods yet, as we still have to contend with... Yes, sir, we have the same transmission. Yes, origination at SPL is confirmed. Yes, sir, but I strongly advise continuation of Phoenix's operational status until we find Handy and analyze what he knows. Sir, we have an investment here. I don't think it's prudent to cancel the game before we have the teams on the field, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. Yes, sir. Linda's cottage. It's safe to say that uh, what mankind did to itself in two world wars, the sun managed to do in a few days. Oh, yes, Dad. Cities in ruins. Civil order destroyed. Well, we could have gotten off worse, I suppose.
This is Miller at NCC. I need to speak to the president. Yes. Oh, yes. I'll hold. Okay. I just saw the headlights. No, Lynn, where's Brooke? I'm sorry. Daddy! Oh, Haley, come on. Honey. Oh, I couldn't reach you. I was so scared. Sorry. Everything's gonna be all right. What so, happened to you? That's, that's a long story. I'll tell you. not to stay there. But we can't tell her. Not now. She loved Teresa. I know. He's coming, Chris. He does not know where you are. She could have told him. He could have made her tell him. He'll kill us all if he gets the chance. Then we're not staying here. We can't go home. The city's out of control. You saw what it's like. Even when work gets out about the supernova, it could take weeks for things to settle down. Then we're definitely better off on the run. No. We're not going to run. We've lost so much time because of that bastard. He's stolen it from us. He's stolen my life from me, and I can't let him have any more. What if you're right? What if he did get to Teresa? He'll come here. I'm just
bathroom. She's in the bath. What do you do when this happens? Well, we started like a lawnmower. Okay, where is it? By the gazebo. All right. No, Chris! We're vulnerable in here with no electricity. You stay here, wait till I come back. Yeah, but what if he's really out there? Take the gun. Take the gun, Chris! You 
come and get it. Are you man enough, Cole? Okay, you're gonna be fine. The doctor's gonna be with you soon. Worldwide phenomena, dousing the fires that have overwhelmed our emergency personnel, as well as most of the forest fires that were too remote for anyone to reach. In the past three weeks, major rainfall across the planet has cleansed the air. The earth is healing itself. Acre by acre, country by country, continent by continent, 
Mother Earth has done for mankind what it couldn't possibly do for itself. Our fierce and terrifying sun has finally calmed itself. Like everything else in this vast universe, it will die. But not now. Not for a long time. Only three weeks ago, we stood on the brink of extinction. We witnessed the dark side of human nature. We saw riots and looting. We saw selfishness and disregard for one another. But worst of all, we learned that there are those who would leave the rest of us behind. With the twisted logic of social Darwinism, an exclusionary Noah's Ark almost set sail. This story has yet to be told, but it will be. In the meantime, let's never forget that we have suffered tremendous loss. But we go on. We have learned, perhaps more than ever before, that we are indeed fragile. You think anyone will believe her? Would you? All right, just another fantasy for the conspiracy theorists. Transport's waiting outside.